Hello guys, welcome to our channel, the channel is Nazmin and kindly if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you that you get to, to subscribe to our channel the channel is Nazmin today we are going to talk about something very important also uh, we are going to share something very vital in our lives and today we are going to talk about uh, a very sensitive topic like uh, no other so uh, we're going to talk about uh, how to wash your vagina. That's what we're going to talk about today. How to wash your vagina is our topic for today, guys. So we encourage you to uh, watch this video and also give us a nice comment down below uh, so that we get to understand uh, the simple and sensitive topics like this one so it's what we get to discuss in our channel but uh, also very important uh, that is uh, how we get also to learn basic things about our lives so guys when it comes to washing the vagina area it's important al always to focus on uh, very on proper hygiene proper hygiene is the key here where you uh, you're avoiding practices that could disrupt uh, the normal functioning or the normal flora of uh, your vagina balance and them, some of the effective ways is what I'm going to share in this video and how you are supposed to wash your vaginal area so number one is about uh, you should always clean only the external area so when we talk about washing the vagina, we're talking about washing the external area. And when we talk about the vagina, it's about the internal canal. So the internal part of the vagina is self-cleaning. So you only need uh, to clean at uh, all to wash the external genitalia, what you call the vulva from our anatomical part of it. So actually when we are talking about cleaning the vagina, the vagina, the internal part of it is self-cleaning. But only the external part is what we are, we are cleaning, or the vulva. That is the part which uh, most of the time uh, we get uh, to clean. Use warm water. That's another point where you get to gently wash the external area, area with the water or warm water. You don't need to use soap inside the vaginal area as it can be very irritating. So very basically, you need to do it with the warm water. So that uh, you don't you you don't have to get to irritate the internal uh, area of the vagina, so that uh, you get to wash it very well with that warm water. Avoid douching, douching. So douching, douching, douching is what is not necessary, and this can disrupt the, the natural pH and uh, the flora of the vagina. So the, and this can lead to a lot of bad infections. So basically. We need to avoid the hoaching in the washing of the vagina as very key so that you get, get to take care of the internal parts or the internal organs, internal area of the vaginal area. So part dry after washing, gently part and dry uh, with a clean towel which is soft, especially cotton based, so that to avoid rubbing which can cause irritation. So part, part dry is part of it so after washing where you put uh, you put the uh, part of the area dry with uh, clean soft towel especially made of cotton so that you get to avoid wrapping which can cause rubbing which can cause any irritation at the end of the day avoid irritants that's another point when cleaning it so steer clear from products like scented tampons pads or feminine sprays as this uh, can lead to irritation or allergic reactions. So very key, avoid irritants. Wear breathable fabrics. So choose cotton underwear and avoid tight fitting uh, clothing. So to help keep the area dry and also reduce the risk of irritation or infections at the end of the day. Also very key, shower, uh, uh, shower uh, instead of baths is very important. If you are prone to infections, guys, or irritation, so showers might be better than the baths. Baths is where you get to get into a bath, a bath tub, a bath tub, 
so uh, showers are recommended where you get to uh, it's better than the baths as they help to uh, clean the area very well without submerging it into potentially irritating bath water so showers are recommended if you are prone to inf uh, recurrent infections so that you get to use it uh, it, it helps so uh, if you experience symptoms like unusual discharge, itching, burning, or odor, it's important to consult the healthcare provider for proper diagnosis and also treatment at the end of the day. On the management of uh, vaginal hygiene, managing vaginal hygiene involves maintaining a balanced uh, uh, a balance that supports the both cleanliness and also uh, the natural health of the vagina. The comprehensive guide to help you effective vaginal hygiene is about daily hygiene practices, which are very key. Like I've said, you wash externally, use warm water, gently cleaning the external genitalia, that's the vulva with warm water. Mild and scented uh, soaps are recommended for that. If using soap, you choose a mild and scented uh, variety, avoiding use of soap internally or in the sensitive areas. Avoid douching. The vagina is self-cleaning, like I've mentioned, so douching can disrupt the natural pH and also the pH balance and also lead to infections or initiation. Dry properly, part dry. After washing gently, part dry with clean, soft towel and avoid uh, rubbing at the end of the day. So also very key is about uh, uh, clothing and fabrics which you wear. Wear breathable fabrics, opt for cotton underwear which allow hair circulation and help keep the area dry. Avoid tight clothing where you wear loose fitting clothing uh, to reduce moisture and friction which can lead to irritation. Very key also ladies and gentlemen is about menstrual hygiene where change period, pro uh, change, uh, uh, period products regularly. So things like if you are using tampons, if you are using pads or menstrual cups every four to eight hours should be changed to maintain the hygiene and prevent the odor or infections so from four to eight hours depending on the flow uh, you need to change your parts tampons and also uh, menstrual cups if you are using them so that you avoid infections and also maintain uh, uh, and avoid things like bad uh, smell or odor or infections clean clean menstrual cups properly so for those who use menstrual cups, follow the manufacturer's instructions for cleaning and also sterilizing the menstrual cups for use. General health practices uh, should be ensured also, where you get to hydrate very well. Drinking plenty of water helps uh, maintain the overall uh, health and support where you, the body naturally gets to function uh, very well as, as uh, recommended. Maintain a balanced diet. A diet rich in probiotics, uh, fruits and vegetables is very key which can support the healthy balance of the vaginal flora. Also exercises, uh, taking the exercise very serious where you get to exercise regularly so that uh, your regular physical activity gets to help you to contribute to overall health and also wellness. Regular checkups is another option or you visit your healthcare provider for routine uh, gynecological exams to monitor your vaginal health at the end of the day. During and after sexual activity, practice safe sex always, guys. Use of condoms to prevent the uh, sexual transmitted diseases and maintaining vaginal health is very key. You, and also there's a practice where you urinate after sex. This can help flush out the bacteria and also reduce the risk of urinary tract infections or UTI. Clean and also for those, of, uh, those who use uh, sex toys, Clean sex toys is very key. Ensure that sex, to sex toys are cleaned according to the manufacturer, manufacturer's instructions to avoid infections at the end of the day. Uh, and when are you supposed to seek medical attention? So when to seek medical advice is very key. If you have persistent symptoms, if you experience unusual, things like unusual discharge, itching, burning, or unpleasant odor, and also you should consult with their uh, healthcare provider. Recurrent infections, where you frequent yeast infections or about bacterial vaginosis may need professional evaluation and treatment at the end of the day. 
any discomfort or changes where you seek medical advice if you notice any medical any significant changes or discomfort in the vaginal area. By following these guidelines, you maintain health uh, balance and ensure good uh, vaginal hygiene while supporting the overall well-being. So sometimes we have complications related to vaginal hygiene, and unfortunately, but uh, maintaining vaginal hygiene is very crucial for overall health, but improper practices or neglect can lead to various complications. So here are some of the potential complications related to vaginal hygiene and how you are supposed to address them. Number one, for vaginal infections, we have what you call vaginal or bacterial vaginosis or BV. In this, an imbalance in natural bacteria flora of the vagina can lead to uh, bacterial vaginosis. Symptoms include fishy odor and unusual discharge. Avoid douching and consult the healthcare provider for treatment for this one. Yeast infections caused by overgrowth of candida yeast. So symptoms include itching, burning and thick white discharge. Overuse of antibiotics, high sugar diets or wearing tight clothing can contribute to these yeast infections. So antifungal treatments are available over the counter or, or by uh, prescription from your good healthcare provider. Irritation and allergic reactions can also be other complications. So irritation from products like uh, soaps, feminine sprays and other personal care products can cause irritation. Choose unscented and mild products to reduce the risk, guys. So allergic reactions also can come up because some individuals may be sensitive to materials used especially during the menstrual period so or, or, or and also personal hygiene items. If irritation occurs, switch to hypoallergenic or alternative products which you cannot react to. Urinary tract infections also can be other complications. So because of infection risk, poor hygiene practices or not urinating after sex can increase the risk of UTIs. So ensure proper hygiene and urinate after intercourse to help uh, prevent uh, the UTIs. pH imbalance is also another one where disruption of uh, uh, pH is also another thing. Use of wash soaps or douching can disrupt the natural acid pH of the vagina leading to infections. So stick to gentle pH balanced uh, products and avoid douching at the end of the day. Skin conditions like uh, when we talk about rashes and also chaffing. So uh, wearing tight or an unbreathable clothing can cause rashes or chaffing at the end of the day. So opt for loose breathable fabrics and also avoid prolonged exposure to moisture at the end of the day. So chronic conditions like uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases, so with PID and treated uh, STIs can lead to PID, serious condition which affect also the reproductive organs. Regular screening and appropriate treatment of the infections is very key. Uh, when one has a, a special sexually transmitted disease, especially the gonorrhea, it can cause pelvic, uh, pelvic inflammatory disease or PID at the end of the day. So it's very key that you get to be treated as early as possible. Pain during uh, intercourse is also another complication. Uh, in the, when we classify complication of discomfort and pain, this can be due to infections, dryness, or other medical conditions which are uh, pre-existing. So consult with your healthcare provider to identify and treat the underlying cause as much as possible, guys. Hormonal imbalance is also hormonal changes can also occur because of the menopause or birth control uh, products. Hormonal changes affect the vaginal health, causing dryness or changes in the discharge. And this speak uh, with the healthcare provider for advice on managing these conditions. Impact on the menstrual products. So uh, we have what you call toxic uh, uh, shock syndrome or TSS. Although rare, uh, toxic, uh, toxic shock syndrome can uh, be a very serious condition associated with the tampoon use. So use tampoon as directed by uh, directed and consider alternative you know, alternating with the pads uh, or menstrual cups. So sometimes tampons have been seen to cause this uh, toxic shock syndrome. So consider other options if possible or alternate with the, the, the menstrual cups or the menstrual uh, parts. Preventive measures and management, so regular checkups is very key. Uh, hygiene practices, like I've mentioned, health lifestyle, by balanced diet, staying hydrated and exercising regularly, 
uh, also her get to help. When we talk about maintaining wood hygiene to prevent the, uh, the complications related to vaginal hygiene, gentle cleansing is very key, where you wash the external genitalia, the vulva, with warm water and, and mild and scented soaps. Avoid using soaps, uh, ash soaps and douching, which can disrupt the natural balance and also cause bacterial or yeast infections. Dry properly. After washing, gently pat the area uh, to clean uh, with a soft towel. Avoid rubbing, which can cause irritation at the end of the day. Also choosing the right products. Avoid irritants and opt, opt for breathable fabrics. Manage menstrual hygiene, very key. Change, we've said, we've said you change your tampons or your pads from four to eight hours to avoid infections and also the change of the smell and also uh, to reduce the risk of infections. Properly cleanse menstrual cups. They are supposed to be cleaned very well where you get, you get to clean them very well and also sterilize them at the end of the day. Practice safe sex. Uh, we've, we've mentioned that you get to uh, use uh, uh, or you have to use uh, uh, practice safe sex by using condoms. The condoms can prevent sexually transmitted infections and reduce the risk of infections. Urinate after sex, this can be to this uh, can help to flush out uh, any bacteria which can reduce the risk of UTIs and also bodily function to be maintained. Maintain healthy lifestyle, stay hydrated, drink plenty of water to support uh, overall health and develop maintain natural bodily functions. Eat balanced dietary, re uh, diet rich in fruits, vegetables and probiotics can support health and balance of uh, uh, vaginal flora. Exercise regularly is very key where you get to promote overall health which support also at the end of the day the vaginal health. Avoid overuse of antibiotics guys. Yes, overuse of antibiotics can give you a lot of problems because only use of anti use antibiotics when prescribed because overuse uh, they can disrupt the natural balance or bacteria which can lead you to a lot of infections. Regular healthy checkups is also another option. We have seen general uh, gynecological exams is very key. Schedule your regular uh, checkups with the healthcare provider to monitor your vaginal health and also catch any issues early. Screening for STIs is also another way. Your regular STI screening can detect and treat infections early. Manage stress. Stress uh, reduction is very key. High levels of stress can affect our health, including vaginal health. So engage in stress-reducing activities such as exercise, meditation, and, hobby, and the hobbies which you uh, like engaging in. Address hormonal uh, changes. Consult with the healthcare provider if you experience changes due to hormonal fluctuation, like menopause and birth control. Discuss management strategies with the healthcare provider to help you come up with the proper way of managing those conditions. Avoid self-medication because if you experience symptoms like unusual discharge, itching, order, consult your healthcare provider for proper diagnosis, treatment that can, uh, 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 can help rather than self-medication. So by adopting the preventive me measures, you maintain good vaginal health and reduce the risk of complications. So regular communication with the healthcare provider is key for addressing and concerns and ensuring your overall well-being at the end of the day. So guys, maintaining vaginal health is very key and very crucial for overall well-being and it involves, it involves combination of good hygiene practices, health lifestyle choices, regular medical, medical care. By following the guidelines for proper hygiene using suitable products and managing menstrual hygiene and practicing uh, safe sex, you can significantly reduce the risk of common uh, vaginal health issues. So embracing uh, a balanced diet, uh, staying hydrated, managing stress also play, play a very important role in supporting vaginal health at the end of the day. Regular gynecological checkups and staying informed about your body's needs further contribute to early detection and prevention of uh, potential problems. If you experience any symptoms or concerns, Consulting the healthcare provider is essential for proper diagnosis and treatment. Proactive management and informed practices can help you maintain optimal vaginal health and also overall quality of life. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nasvin. My name is Vincent. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to subscribe. 
This is where we get to share matters medical in a simple language which you can always understand. And that's why you need to subscribe, share with the, with the people you love, so that matters essential as vaginal health, vaginal hygiene, they get to understand them. Guys, share, like the video, and I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys. We love you very much.